A team really just means like all the people just working together to do stuff. And I really like being on a team because I can't beat nobody with just only me. I need help. You're in the heart of the South. We're here at the John and Vera Mae Perkins Foundation. Um, we're here running a baseball camp, working with uh, youth from West Jackson community, just trying to inspire them. The history of baseball in the black community started with the Negro Leagues. And with that, it created opportunities for community to come together. It was a piece of the culture. Baseball is an opportunity that really gives, it socializes, it really allows ourselves to create a social norm um, in our communities that we once had that preserves a cultural legacy. I think a lot of the kids that we worked with while we were here had never really played baseball before, um, especially some of the younger ones. Uh, you're kind of just introducing the game to them. You, you, you kind of see it through their eyes for the first time and you know, they, 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 they hit in a batting cage and they take a couple swings and they make contact and then... It's, a, it's an honor to be there for that. You know, our work continues to change the landscape of baseball and softball, um, particularly the systemic structure that's in place. We have to continue to find ways to uplift communities to really see baseball and softball as a viable option. Um, one, because it's the only sport we've ever owned, but two, it's also our ability to preserve the cultural legacy because we know play can heal. Athletic opportunities affirm the dignity of the people. And quicker than we know that we as good as others and that they can be like you and I can be like them and we can be like each other. That's a good time. Let's play together. Come play for us and we'll, I mean, it's easy to bond with us, it's easy to bond with me, so I mean, it's like, kind of like a second family. family. And you are able to bring kids um, to a different community like Jackson and, and then take them to Montgomery. Um, you're starting to expose them to voices that, that haven't been heard. We're seeing a lot of, um, of the struggle of the civil rights movement and, and we saw it in Jackson, we'll see it in the museums in, in Montgomery. I just wanted them today to realize you have an obligation. You've been told, you've been challenged. What you do with it is up to you, but you can't say no one ever asked you to get out there and try. these kids, I'm just telling you, it's real exciting here, but it's also a big eye-opener for our young kings from Seattle to really see something different. I'm just, I'm just hopeful that our young people will take something away from this, you know, even more than baseball. Just from the two days that we experienced here in Jackson, you know, what I saw is I saw inspiration. I, I saw hope. Um, I saw uh, an ability to be something. Come out and play with me is a beautiful thing. Let's play together. <laughs>